Guys, they said Kabiesi appreciates Oba a legacy for surprising him on his golden jubilee. We all know that yesterday was Kabiesi's 50th birthday. He celebrated his golden jubilee in a special way. Hey, see, eh, Kabiesi gave people who, a lot of people love Kabiesi. I'm telling you, you need to see the dignitaries that attended the occasion. Everywhere was filled up with people. Ah, Kabiesi, you are highly loved. Though. A lot of people love Kabiesi, I'm telling you. A lot of people love Uni of Ife because information have it that he is a good man. He is doing a whole lot for his people. And this Oba Elegushi, from what we are hearing, when Kabiesi was talking, he said that their friendship started way back. It's not today that they have been friends for a very long time. And when Kabiesi, when Oba Elegushi later became a king, then Kabiesi have not been a king. Their friendship did not stop. And there are a lot of things that Oba Elegushi know more than Kabiesi that he is always teaching him. Kabiesi said a whole lot of things about his friendship with uh, Oba Elegushi. And when he finally became the owner of Ife, they said their friendship became more tightened again because they now operate in the same level as kings, Yoruba kings. They said this uh, Oba Elegushi is a true friend for Kabies. When I said true friends, you know that true friends are those ones who will tell you the truth. No matter how bitter that truth is, they said he will always tell Kabies the truth. You know? Sometimes he will be angry with Kabiesi over the fact that Kabiesi doesn't listen to advice. On a second thought, he will say, anyway, he's my friend. I cannot abandon him at a, a time of need. As a matter of fact, uh, there was a time where they said, uh, Oba Elegushi asked Kabiesi, why did you drive joy uh, in all this tokumbo that you gather in your palace? And the new chances that God gave to you, you will allow it to slip off your hand. Because these are the people who have advised Kabiesi time without number to go and bring back his wife, which is Queen Naomi. This Oba Elegushi, uh, at least, I think I have read a uh, uh, write-up by his wife, this uh, Olori Shekinat. From what we are hearing, that Olori Shekinat, I don't know if they met, she met Oba Elegushi while they were in school. But from what I read, their friendship have started long ago, even before Oba Elegushi became the king. And when Oba Elegushi became the king, uh, he married that lady. Or maybe he have, he married Olori Shekinat before he became king. I don't know whether he married... Or, yes, from the right up, he married Oba Elegushi. He married Shekinat before he became king. As a matter of fact, at first, he doesn't want to be king, but... Due to the fact that he must answer the call, he became king. And that does not make him to marry many wives because he loves his wife. He gave his wife his word that it is going to be the two of them. I think the reason why he later married this second one, I think is because of a male child issue. Because that Olori Shekinat, I think he has, is it two girls or three girls? I don't think she has a boy. And we all know that as an African king, if you don't have a male child, the society will always be on your neck. Your people will be on your neck. The same thing they did to Kabiesi. I think that's the condition that uh, Oba Elegushi married the second wife. At first, his wife, Olori Shekinat, did not like it. After all, that is not what her husband promised her. But I believe that they were able to uh, sort it out. And that one stayed. And ever since then, we have never heard that Oba Elegushi married another wife. You know? Because he already know that one wife is trouble, two is wala. What happens when they are six, seven? Eh? And they said he keep advising his friend, Kabiesi. But you know Kabiesi. Kabiesi will always be himself. And let me tell you one thing about friendship. True friends doesn't leave their friends because they don't listen to advice or because they make mistakes. No, they will always be there for them. They will always accept them 
in their imperfection. And Kabi Esi liked it so much when people accept him in his imperfection. That is why he said he loved the Soloris, because they accepted him in his imperfection. Nobody is perfect anywhere, but not when you know that you are imperfect and you are increasing that or making it look like it's, an, it's a title, you know? So they said Oba Elegishi have been there even when Kabi Esi was not, uh, have not been rich, that he have been supportive. The KBSC said a whole lot of things to appreciate his friend Oba Elegoshi, who is always there for him. At first, because of the last incident that happened between the two of them, where they said Oba Elegoshi was encouraging him to uh, get Kwenomi back to the palace or give Kwenomi her freedom, that the way she he, he is treating Kwenomi, that she is not ha he is not happy with it, that if anyone treats any of his daughters like that, that he will not be happy. That is either he makes a way to bring back Penami into the palace or give her her freedom, let her move on with her life, that she deserves to be happy. They said that caused a little problem between the two of them. And a lot of people were saying that Abba Elegoshi will not attend his uh, 50th birthday, this and that. Let me tell you, true friends will always be there for you. And they said he came with a full package of surprises for Kabiesi. And Kabiesi was super happy and they said, he appreciates him in a special way, you know, because he's a true friend. That friend that will always tell you, do things like this. So, Oba Elegoshi too was very happy because KBAC appreciates him a whole lot. There are some friends that no matter what you do to them, they will not, they will just see it as if it is their right. To appreciate you will be a trouble, a serious wala for them. But I don't think KBSC is in that category. KBSC is one person that will always uh, respect friendship so much. And a lot of people are saying because of the fact that KBSC values friendship. That is why you will hear that uh, he has been dating a woman for, for the last 10 years. They, their friendship has lasted for the last 8 years. This and that. That he respects friendship so much. Then my question is... This 10 years, 8 years and all of that. So he was in, uh, bef uh, befriending this person. This person was, or is, her girlfriend, his girlfriend. This person is girlfriend. As in about all of them were his girlfriend at the time. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I am happy that uh, KBS is 50. And my prayer for him is that God is going to give him more life and good health. And more wisdom. And... Did I, should I add more wives? <laughs> no, no, no more wives. Let him be able to fix his first wife and bring her back to the palace. That is if Naomi will accept. Because from the look of things, it's like her uh, mind has been uh, is made up over this issue. Anyway, let the will of God be done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.